Hi, I'm Mia Walsh and I'm president of Cromwell Valley Park Council. Thank you for thinking of us on Giving Tuesday and throughout the holiday season for donations to our park. Cromwell Valley Park Council is the steward of the amazing 460 plus acres that we have here, five minutes from the heart of Towson. We rely on your donations to enable us to continue doing the projects and the maintenance of not only the trails and our nature education program, but also the historic structures that we have here in the park. Your donation, every penny, goes to the upkeep of this park. I'm gonna take you to some of my favorite spots here in Cromwell Valley Park. I hope you enjoy our trip. There's something deeply majestic about the sycamore, the lone sycamore in the field behind me. At each end of this field, there are benches for you to sit and contemplate and enjoy the spectacular scenery that's before you or beyond. all the benches in all over the park where we have spot for you to sit and enjoy and relax. Benches could be made as a memorial donation to a loved one who's passed or to thank someone who has been an important part of your life. So while you're walking, take a look at all of the places where we have these hidden charms of benches. The historic lime kiln bottom behind me was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2019. With donations from people like you, our historic lime kilns were restabilized and brought back to the glory from the 1700s and 1800s from whence they started. The three kilns, the Jennifer, the Shanklin, and the Rousteau kilns are a part of the history of Cromwell Valley Park. And we are very proud to have received this honor and distinction of the National Register of Historic Places. The Mine Bank Run Stream is a big part of Cromwell Valley Park and its beauty. Listening to the babbling brook as the water flows and enjoying watching the children play on the river's edge. Nature and wildlife use this as their nourishment and it is a very iconic piece of Cromwell Valley Park. Visiting the Willow Grove Nature Center is a wonderful part of the experience of Cromwell Valley Park, filled with animals, reptiles, snakes, chickens, turkeys, possums, all kinds of activities for your children and family. The Sherwood House, as part of the Sherwood Farm entrance of Cromwell Valley Park, dates back to the early 1900s. It offers you the opportunity to walk on trails, on asphalt, through the forest, as well as a vista of open growth fields as far as the eyes can see. Despite only being five minutes away from Towson, coming to the Sherwood entrance of Cromwell Valley Park makes you feel like you are removed from any type of urban society. The beauty of this area is that there are Adirondack chairs and picnic benches, picnic tables, and scenic areas for you to enjoy with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones. The Hawk Watch area of Cromwell Valley Park 
is a spectacular place to watch the migrating birds. This year alone was a record number of raptors that passed through our park. The very best part of the park, however, is the people that come to enjoy it. Families and friends gather, they make new memories, they come to enjoy each other's company and walk their dogs and go on multi-generational hikes and with volunteers making sure the park is ready for you when you gather. Anyone that knows me knows that I love photography and birding and Cromwell Valley Park is a place where I could do both of those every single day and be the happiest person on earth. So thank you for watching my favorite places in Cromwell Valley Park and I really hope that you consider giving a donation, large or small, to Cromwell Valley Park Council so we can continue providing a pristine park during the pandemic especially for you to share time with your friends and your family. Now more than ever, it's so important that we receive your donations. The pandemic caused us to cancel our summer camp as well as most of our programs from March through the fall. Though we are providing some socially distanced outdoor programs in the winter, we do rely on the income from the camps and the programs to provide our operating expenses, which are used to maintain this beautiful piece of land for you and your family. Without your help, projects that we need to do to keep this park the jewel of the Parkville and Towson area so needed at this time. We hope that you consider giving on Giving Tuesday or throughout the holiday season for your year-end donations to Cromwell Valley Park Council. Again, I'm Mia Walsh, President of Cromwell Valley Park Council, and I urge you to consider a donation to our organization. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.